guys, welcome back to another episode of Atlas Survival Shelter. I'm just gonna make a video today to kind of give you guys a tour of the factories because a lot of people are calling wanting bunkers right now and they can't always fly to Texas and see the bunkers. So this video I'm making for you today is just to kind of show you what you would see if you came here, okay? Um, that's actually a pair of bunkers that are going together that we're gonna install in a couple weeks that uh, they got shut out because of the cold north, but uh, this is actually a 10-footer right here. We're finishing these up right now as we talk. So this is a 10-foot wide. Those are the dividing walls. It, these are two bedrooms in here and a big old extra room for whatever, but this bunker actually connects to this other bunker. So this is a double wide. So it's a 10 by 50 connected to a 12 by 50 and you can tell we are already sandblasting this and then winter came on so we'll have to blast it again and then we'll coat it but this bunker is connecting to that other bunker and it will be a double wide total of 1200 square feet so they're inside here working right now so this is how they're made you got a composite floor uh, which means it can't rot, mold, or mildew. You got two foot of storage underneath there with built-in water tanks. The walls are made of hardy board, which is a, a concrete. So there's no wood in here. Um, they're putting the electrical in. This is actually a master bedroom in here. Look how big this is. Um, the bedrooms in this thing are gigantic and it's so wide, it's 12 feet wide inside. Um, this is the living room. So in this particular bunker, you will cross from this bunker over to another bunker, and there'll be two of these. So this will be the bathroom back here. Bathroom's gonna be right there. And then this will be another bedroom in here. So, and look at this, eight foot ceilings, composite floors, it'll have a full kitchen, living room and everything. So that's just one bunker here. So I'm gonna kind of give you guys a tour of everything that's going on here right now, just so you don't have to come visit me. So this is another double wide bunker. This is two culvert bunkers, two big boys that will be side by side. They'll be connected with a, a hallway and a square uh, tunnel or mudroom that will lead to a generator room over here, okay? Um, but we're super busy right now. We got a waiting list. Uh, we're trying to get everything caught up right now and get some men back from the uh, snowstorm. A lot of them got called away to do plumbing repairs. So here they're building stairs. That stair right there is 34 feet long. And that is for a bunker that's gonna be 20 feet underground to the surface. So how many steps are in that? Did you ever count them? Was it about 40 steps or? One, two, three, four, five, well, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they're making stairs over here. They're making mud rooms. This is actually a ceiling they're making right now, but look how our ceilings are made. This particular ceiling has an eight inch I-beam on the roof, 36 steps. These are our mud rooms, our sandblasting and painting building is back there. But the way the bunkers work is the stairs come down to this mud room right here. This will connect to this right here and then weld in the field. But when you come down, you actually have a door that opens up. You open this door up, you go to a mud room and decontamination room, and then you open another door and you're in the bunker. Then on the other side over here, this door opens up and goes to a generator room. And that's a 10 foot, uh, four by eight foot by 10 foot generator room where you can put your ba uh, batteries and extra solar panels in there. But this is standard on pretty, um, pretty much all our bunkers. So let me go over to this side of the building here. So this is big inside. Look how tall that is. It's 12 feet tall up there. So built-in water tanks. One thing, all the Atlas shelters now with underfloor storage, they all have built-in water tanks. So you don't need exterior water tanks. This is a 10 by 50, okay? Um, and when you see them like that, that means they always have storage underneath it. That's what that represents. That two foot of storage in the built-in water tanks. This is a 10 by 40. Uh, this is a 10 by 38 right here, which is a round water type. This is a 12 foot by 27 foot 
uh, culvert with a mudroom and a generator room. These are all the air pipe systems for the generators. Um, this bunker here is pretty cool because this is a triple bunker. There's three 10 by 40s together. So it's 1,200 square feet. So you got this one, this one, and that one over there. They all go together and it will have that long staircase, the one that you saw earlier that's uh, 20 feet underground. So that bunker is gonna be 20 feet from the roof to the surface. These are gun rooms. This is a 12 foot by 20 foot gun room. It's got a full eight foot ceilings and two foot under the floor is why it's so tall. It's got those heavy duty I-beams up there as well. It's got the wide flange I-beams on this one here. But uh, you got men inside there welding them. Stand up so they can see how tall it is. See, now that man's standing up on the floor. Look how much headroom he has. So they're very tall inside. Welded both inside and out. And then there's your inside water tank right there. So guys, like I said, this video is kind of like what I would do for you if you came here and toured the factory. This is a 12 by 30. Um, it's sold. And it's gonna be a one bedroom bunker. So, but look how wide it is. Atlas makes 12 foot wide bunkers. They're just huge inside. They feel like more like homes than they do anything. Okay, this is a uh, 10 by 40 part of that triple bunker. These are the angles that go underneath the floor for the uh, for the water tanks and the flooring. But on the 12 foot wide bunkers, look at that. Look at the size of those angles. Those are big structural five by five angles. Then this next little bunker over here. This is a double wide. This is the only bunker I'm going right now that does not have any under the floor storage. So what this person did, they opted out for under the floor storage and did a second bunker to hold their water tanks or food supplies. So they'll live in the 10 by 40 and have a 10 by 40 for storage. But with the underfloor storage, there's no need to do two bunkers now. You can do it in one and save yourself a lot of money. But one thing all the bunkers have, they all have these gas type marine gray doors with stainless steel dogs okay now they walk down like that um on just every door you want to have a, a door that can withstand gases from uh, off gassing batteries carbon monoxide uh chemicals biological whatever so we do up to three doors before you can even get to some of the bunkers the safe sellers have one door and a hatch before you get to the bunker then the Platinum Series, you got to go through a hatch and three doors. So there's four doors on my Platinum Series bunkers. It's not some little paper thin hatch that you go through and walk down and have a residential grade door that you go in. No, all my doors are 3 8 AR bulletproof or they are, they are these gas tight doors. But um, so I'm not going back to the paint and body shop, but it's another building back there. But guys, this is kind of like what if you came and saw me today, uh, spring 2021, what you would see today. And uh, we are hiring people. So, you know, people needing jobs that are like-minded, good Christian, honest people, send them our way. But these are some of the air pipes being done right now. They're all steel, six inch pipe, schedule 40. They'll get hot dip galvanized. And uh, that's what they're doing right now. They're finishing up these bunkers right here, doing the escape tunnels, the air pipes. But anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. So as always, make sure you like and subscribe. And um, so on the giveaway, because I do a giveaway on every video, the today's giveaway, I'm going to give away Another one of those guns that's guess a number between one and a thousand. Put your comment below and guess that number between one and a thousand. The closest one to it wins. And then for the extra bonus money, guess my high school mascot. Okay, for a hundred dollar bonus, a number between one and a thousand. And then who gets my high school mascot from my high school wins the bonus hundred dollars if they win the actual uh, wall hanging AK-47 or AR-15. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Have a good day.
folks, I hope you enjoy a little walk through the factory today. It's almost April. The weather is getting really nice. But I know a lot of you guys just can't get here and you're kind of curious what it looks like. And I know you watch my videos. So I got a little information for you. One still has like doubled in cost. So there's a surcharge on bunkers right now to help cover the cost of steel. Also, we're pretty full. We do have a kind of a waiting list right now. So if you're interested in getting a bunker within the next six months to even 12 months, I would recommend you call in and just put your name on the list to have it reserved, okay? Just think ahead because it's a different world we live in. But guys, as always, I give away one of these gun wall hangers on every video. I'm gonna let my phone pick the video. The last question was pick a number between one and a thousand and list my favorite US president. Siri, give me a number between one and a thousand. It's 43. Okay, so the number is 43 and Donald Trump. Ironic, he's president 45. <laughs> kind of funny, isn't it? So 43 and Donald Trump and you win. 43, you win this and if you put Donald Trump, you win a hundred dollar cash prize. So guys, as always, even on this video, I'm gonna give a prize again, away again for watching this video. So after you watch this video, in the comments below, pick a number between one and a thousand and you will have a chance to win one of these decorative AR-15 or AK-47 uh, wall hangers for your house to enjoy. And then the hundred dollar bonus money is, guess, my high school mascot okay so if you can guess my high school mascot which is going to be a tough one okay uh you'll win a hundred dollars on top of winning one of these wall hangers like you see behind me but guys as always make sure you like and subscribe i need more subscribers i need more viewers but guys as always support the second amendment support the constitution of the united states and god bless america i'll see you on the next video